Hey everyone, Zach here with the Launchpad with a quick flash update. Well, SpaceX has just filed with the FCC their plans for their first Starship orbital test, and we have those details for you now. Uh, the Starship will launch from Starbase, Texas. 169 seconds after launch, we will have main engine cutoff, followed two seconds later by stage separation and second stage ignition five seconds after that. Uh, booster touchdown. Now I say touchdown because later we'll talk about splashdown. Booster touchdown is 495 seconds after liftoff and will be about 20 miles downrange off the shore of Starbase, Texas. We're expecting Seco at 521 seconds and then uh, quite a bit time later, about 90 minutes, 5,420 seconds later, we are expecting to see Starship splashdown. So this means that they are not going to be attempting most likely to recover uh, Starship. It will be uh, splashing down about 100 kilometers or 62 miles off the coast of Kauai, which is in Hawaii. So Starship won't complete one full orbit, but it will successfully have put itself into an orbit before it does a re-entry and comes back down. SpaceX says they're doing this. This is going to be their first attempt, which is going to get them a lot more modeling and data so they'll be able to have better planning for the future uh, for vehicle design and for planning of their launches as we start to see Starship get ready to go orbital. Uh, make sure you follow us over on Twitter at, at TLPN underscore official to make sure you never miss any new Splash updates. Subscribe on YouTube and I will see you soon. This is Zach with the Launchpad signing off.